This is a little quickie. I wanted to share with you some things that I learned in my 40 plus years in the HVAC design industry. Things that I thought were good ideas that were done for good reasons. First one was that first impression when you look at a set of drawings. Having your annotation lined up. It makes your drawing look organized. And that first impression is important. The other thing was annotation call-out, especially for things like air terminals. Everybody in the industry connected with HVAC industry knows that that's a diffuser, that's a return griller register, and that's an exhaust griller register. So it really becomes rather redundant to make a call out that says CD-1, 12-inch round neck, 385 CFM. Besides that, it's just more characters, and it takes up more space. And in a cluttered, complicated drawing, space is at a premium, and you spend time trying to place a note so it's legible. Now, I know some people have a hard time with change, so if concerned about somebody not understanding that, you just add it to your remarks column under your schedules. Tell them what everything is, explain your call out. Even though in the schedule itself it describes everything. Now I did the same thing on a VAV box. This way I don't have to call out the inlet and outlet duct sizes for each instance of the box. This length is critical. This is from the manufacturer's published data for the air to uh, straighten out before it hits that sensor. This length was taken from information found on the internet on uh, minimum length for air to straighten out after it leaves the uh, fan. The other thing is, this is the only printed industry where a sheet is not filled out left to right and top to bottom. You fill a sheet out in, in this industry, top to bottom and right to left. And the reason you do that is so you don't wind up with a blank half of a page over here, the first thing somebody sees when they thumb through the drawings. Secondly, things over in the binding edge are really a bugger to read when you got 20, 30, 40 drawings stacked on top of them. Now, in some instances, you just can't stay out of the bind, binding edge. But the drawing is still set up top to bottom and then right to left. So I hope this has given you some ideas and some food for thought. Thank you.